How's it going YouTube? It's Lathan here with Are You Sick? Today I'm going to take you to my local fish store, Black Pearl Aquatics, here in Wichita. It's super hot outside today. I think it's supposed to top like 105, but as you can see outside, real nice. Looks good. Blue skies. And uh, kind of show you what's going on. I have All right, guys, here I am outside my fish store, local fish store. It's uh, the Black Pearl Aquatics here on Douglas Street. Coming around the corner here. You can see it's got kind of a sign right there out front. There's some wooden pieces and then you can just walk inside. So let's check it out. See the giant catfish in the front tank. It's like a uh, car right there. Red tail catfish trash bin. Huge fish. So here's kind of my, my type of fish right here. It's an assorted cichlid tank. They each look like they're about three inches, three and a half inches. Uh, I got a couple of these orange ones in my tank. These look like some of the zebra, I call them zebras, the yellow and black zebras. And then also some almost albino looking ones right there. Real nice looking fish. Inside the tank there is a jumbo clown knife fish right there. Real nice looking fish. Also in the tank it looks like there's a water cow goby, which I think it might be that one. And also the incarescent shark, which that looks like an incarescent shark as well. Real nice looking fish. Here's just a little update video on my 55 gallon cichlid tank that I got out front uh, over the or out in my living room the uh, occasion, uh, over the past week or so I've been totally revamping this tank uh, there's no videos of what it looked like before but it had some fake uh, wood stumps and logs and had a fake castle and just uh, it had the um, multicolored pinks and blues and and just it was very just out of this world it was rough on the eyes it didn't look good couldn't look at it for very long so I've kind of been saving up took some time to to get some new stuff and kind of make it more of a realistic look towards this tank it seems like when I first bought it which you can see right there it was stocked with some tetras that's a Buenos Aires tetra uh, he kind of moves around like the rest of the fish so he's doing pretty well actually um, and then I also had a gourami, a blue gourami, which I had to give up to the local pet store. Uh, and then also some a pair of sword tails. Very understocked along, along with the, the uh, albino cats, which you can see right there. And then also the placa, which has kind of masked himself into the uh, driftwood right there. So um, that's kind of what I've done. I put... 40 pounds of sand, basically it's just a sand substrate. I'm not, I don't really plan on putting any types of any type of live plants because these guys obviously are notorious for digging. Uh, other than that, I don't really have a bad thing to say about them. But they, uh, I don't want to spend a bunch of money on plants, live plants, and then just have them floating at the top of the tank. Also, I think the more you put into a tank, the less fish you can have. So yeah, you can you can blow out a tank and just have tons of crazy which will mean it would look good but then that takes up all your water space and then to, uh, it, you can't have as much fish because there's not as much room to swim and plus they seem, they seem to be a little bit more happier when, they, when they're swimming and have a lot of space to swim so that's pretty much what I've done with this tank um, the rocks themselves are just some river rock and then I'm calling this driftwood but I believe it's willow uh, I like it because it's got a lot of depth Really, it looks just amazing in this tank. The color of it and all the twists and swirls, and I just think it really puts this tank into the next level compared to my old tank. As far as stocking goes, the local pet store that I went to today didn't really have much of a selection. I was really hoping they'd have some more. I took off the canister filter. It seems like my Aquatech 2040s are really doing the job, and they're real reliable. So I ordered some more sponge filters, and I'm just going to keep changing out the sponge filters every couple of weeks just because it's easy it's quick and then also siphoning 
the sand it, it makes it for a quick change along with cleaning the glass occasionally so I really enjoy it I, do, I don't mind personally having the, the pole stick down or the uh, intake valve their products seem to run real nice and uh, I, right here I, I got a fusion fusion quiet power pump connected to the tubing over here the ho the um, and then it's just kind of strung along the back and then I, I had it sitting right here which you can kind of see now that it's up close I want it kind of sitting up in between